This was why aspartame was declared safe. It was tested only on animals. When I went to the docket file to see all the tests, there was only one human test that was done properly. And two people died, and one person had her breast removed in the 11th week of the study, only in the group that consumed aspartame. When the pathologist asked why this happened, they presented the animal data, and the animal data showed no such complications. And so they passed on it as an accident. So can, this, is, this is how it's done. Okay, now, in the epidemiological labs of these, of these food companies, they cheat. And aspartame was particularly easy to cheat on because these animals are completely insensitive to the most toxic component of the sweetener, methyl alcohol. And I, you asked why, and here's the exact, this is probably more science than you want, but I've got to get it out, because some of you can understand it, and, and, and I'll explain it to anybody else. I'll stay here as long as it takes. Basically, what I'm showing here is the, every animal, including humans, has a bond control unit, okay? Has a place where dangerous chemicals can be taken care of and can be detoxified in the body. In this case, these guys are using this spherical shaped thing to blow off a hand grenade, but that's basically what these things do. Okay, I'm not gonna get into a huge amount of biology or chemistry or stuff, I'm only asking you to look at two things here and sort of remember two parts of the cell. The bomb disposal unit for all the animals, including humans, is the proxosome, and that's a, it's that little spherical thing there, shaped sort of like the bomb disposal unit, and it's a beautiful little mechanism. We have about every cell in your body has between one and 300 of these things. Every cell. These are the perfect little spheres, and they contain groups of enzymes. One, one of those enzymes is catalase enzyme. It doesn't really matter what the names are. But when methanol enters that proxosome, which it can do very, very easily, the chemical, the enzymes in there that are designed to make it safe can take it through the formaldehyde stage to formic acid. Formic acid is a food. It's safe. So what leaves that bomb control unit is formic acid. The formaldehyde is taken care of in the proxosome. Well, humans had a real serious problem somewhere along the line. In my book, I talk about Eve, uh, jokingly, but I mean, uh, basically it happened that far ago, that long ago, where every single, human, every single human in this room, every single human in the world is sensitive to methyl alcohol because it enters the proxosome and it leaves the proxosome. The proxosome cannot metabolize it. There's only one way left for us to metabolize. And by, say, by metabolize, I mean to make safe, usually, or to break down. We break down the methanol. You know, we, and, okay. It's ADH, alcohol dehydrogenase. I can see people bored, already yawning here. Okay. <laughs> but here's the big difference, and that's really the most, this is the most important thing. The peroxisome has got hundreds of enzymes in it. It's a machine to make you safe from dangerous molecules. This alcohol dehydrogenase, its sole purpose is to metabolize drinking alcohol, ethyl alcohol, and turn it into vinegar. So the body didn't put anything special there. It's just floating around in the stuff called the cytosol. The cytosol is just the liquid of the cell. It's just like egg white. And molecules float around in there. So here's this alcohol dehydrogenase molecule just floating around. It's, it's accepting ethanol. The ethanol gets converted to vinegar. The vinegar goes and goes somewhere else. It's very safe. Unfortunately, this enzyme in humans is the only enzyme left we have to metabolize methyl alcohol. And the terrible thing about that is, well, here's, here, here's the enzyme. It's a beautiful thing. 
in the book, I, I try to bring everything into perspective and to make it so you can understand that I associate methanol, I, I turn it into a pigeon, I, I, uh, regular New York City pigeon, and then ethanol I make into a, what is the, what is the, Belber, 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 no, it's a big pigeon, the New Zealand pigeon, which is twice the size of it. Anyway, if methanol is a pigeon, the size of a pigeon, then alcohol dehydrogenase is the size of a two-story house. Okay, so that gives you some size perspective to the thing. Methanol, or ethanol, converts, is converted into acetic acid, very safe substance, with this enzyme. Unfortunately, ADH is not found in every cell in the body, which is a lucky thing. It's only found in certain cells. But when it's found in that cell, it takes the methanol and converts it into, the first thing it converts it into is formaldehyde. That's what's killing it. Formaldehyde is what's doing all the damage. Formaldehyde is what's doing, is what's causing the autoimmune response. What looks like an autoimmune response. Formaldehyde is killing you. And it disappears right after it's formed, and that's when the damage happens.